Hi everybody. In this video, I'll cover list message. It's a type of content block that allows you to add interactive lists to WhatsApp messages. Now these lists are great because they're a simpler, more user-friendly way for customers to choose stuff while interacting with your business. Think of them as your perfect tool for presenting multiple options, such as customer care or FAQ menu, takeout menu, uh, selection of uh, stores or locations, available reservation times, and so on. I'll show you how to add list message to your flow and how to set it up step by step. My name is Mitro and let's begin. So we're in chat fuel and the first thing to do is to head to the flows tab. Let's do just that. Next, you'll need to choose an existing flow that you have already or to create a new one. I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to click here. Add a new flow and let's say this entry point. Let's close this Now let's add the list message. Right click anywhere here or click on this button and head over to content blocks. Find the list message option, click on it and done. All right, so with the list message, there are two important parts, the message and the list itself. The message is a text your customers will see before they open the list. And let me use a restaurant as an example. So if I'm running a restaurant and I want to use list message to show customers my menu, for my text, I would say something like, check out the menu below. And for a button that would open the list, I would say menu naturally. And basically that's it for my message. There's also a header and a footer. These are optional and they're basically additional text you can add to your message. Let's add it for example. Let's say welcome to our restaurant. And as for the footer, let's say we take deliveries, deliveries right here in WhatsApp, something like that. And that's it for the message. The second part is the list. It's where you'll add your items. It can contain up to 10 items and it's going to look something like this. You'll have your items. You'll have your radio buttons to the right and you'll have your send button on the bottom. Now let's add some items. My restaurant is selling Polish dishes, so I'm going to add some of them. As you've noticed, you can also add a description to each item. Let's do just that. And that's basically everything you need to do for the list message content block to work. One more thing about the list is that it can also contain sections. Now sections will help you organize your list into different logical blocks or just make it easier for people to navigate. To add a section, head over to this add section button and click on it. And now you can see Two sections are now uh, created. My first section is going to be called main course. And if I had some other sections, let's say that would be desserts or something like that. You can add more sections as you go and divide the items into sections. So use that to your advantage. After you've done adding content and tweaking your flow, test it by using the bot link. Let me show you how to do it. Add a new entry point called bot link. Next, add some text right here. For example, like something like, hi, I'd like to see the menu. Next, connect it to your flow, to our list message in this case. Click copy link and paste it into your browser. Then just send the message to start the conversation and 
see your list message in action. That's it for this video. If you got some problems or you need help setting this up, don't hesitate to contact our support team. Take care and I'll see you in another video.